We live in a world where we face a whole variety of new conflicts that we just haven't seen in earlier times. The idea that we're going to defeat groups like the Islamic State or indeed the Taliban with standard uh, military techniques is for the birds. Think about what's happening in the world today. No other time since the end of World War II have we seen as many refugees and internally displaced persons than we do today. Of course, more important than just keeping people alive and keeping them fed is actually resolving the crises so that they can go home again. We're launching the Pearson Institute for the Study and Resolution of Global Conflicts with a $100 million gift with the goal of creating the place where leading academics and policymakers can come together to create new innovative solutions to the resolution of global conflicts. The reality is that what we're now dealing with is uh, a fantastically complex web of public policy, of military, and indeed of economic challenges. When I was told about the uh, establishment of the Pearson Institute, I was particularly interested because of the legacy of economic work that the University of Chicago has got. There has always been a commitment to thinking carefully according to rigorous analytical methodology, thinking carefully about social science problems. We're bringing together quantitative, rigorous, data-based approaches that have been successful in so many other policy areas to the area of global conflicts. The timing of this endeavor is so key. The prescriptions are underexplored, and the international community is looking for better ways to act together to address these problems. Quantitative data is essential for conducting good evidence-based policy. The fact that the Institute wants to make it a priority can really have a big impact. Everything that we do is focused on evidence-based and results-driven. It's the only way we can evaluate whether or not we are reaching the outcomes we want to see. Now is the time for the Pearson Institute. We have tremendous humanitarian costs. We have a new generation of scholars that use data, that use experiments, that use modeling at a level of sophistication that we just haven't seen even 10 or 15 years ago. Having conversations with academics can be extremely productive and extremely effective in seeking practical solutions. When I first heard about plans for the Pearson Institute for the Study and Resolution of Global Conflicts, I was thrilled. The people themselves were caught up in these crises. They don't have the luxury of sitting and reflecting on what needs to be done to solve this. We need the best minds. The dilemmas of policy making, the unraveling of the states in Iraq and Syria, you are seeing policy questions that demand the most careful thought, and it's going to happen here at the Pearson Institute. With this investment from the Pearson family, we really have the opportunity here to have a dramatic policy impact in the greatest foreign policy challenge of our time.